so I guess um, we want to start with your reactions to what you saw. Karan? Uh, hi, can you have? Well, it seems very exciting, uh, Shekhar. I think uh, especially all the, first I have to congratulate all the young talent that actually uh, platform their talent for the very first time, like you said, that most of them haven't been on a stage before, so congratulations to all of them. Young, vibrant energy is always welcome in any entertainment industry. Uh, I, I was very intrigued by uh, the AV you showed us about you know, the modalities of how to work this entire talent online concept that you're introducing, which is the very first, I think, in our entertainment industry. And I think it's going to open various doors to so much talent that would otherwise go unnoticed. And I think it's, since it's a click away, it gives you that one-on-one -on -one contact with that talent. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I think it's, it was lovely to see the, the talent that performed today. It was very fresh. It was uh, very energetic. And the AV that I saw, I think this is an outstanding uh, model that you have created. And it's going to solve a lot many problems that one always thought existed and didn't know how to solve them. And I think it's all there, not only for, for someone who's talented and looking for work, but also for someone who's trying to source the right yeah. talent for his or her uh, job. Uh, I think, Karan, if you remember our acting years, Indradosh, Indradosh, right? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Somebody told me about that recently. <laughs> I've actually, I, a lesser known fact that I think <laughs> Ashutosh and I were in the same scene together, uh, which I'm really vast embarrassed about. I don't know about him. Uh, but, but then subsequently, I think we're just better off as filmmakers, especially with my disastrous debut recently. <laughs> yeah. I think I shouldn't talk about my acting at all. <laughs> so one went to so many offices uh, this is a series called Indra Dhanush, Mr. Anand Mahindra. Yeah. So one has been to a lot of offices and looking for work and all of that. And I wish when I was acting, your portal was existing yeah. then. It would have been a great help. Yeah. Blood, sir, I know you've got 40 years of experience of seeing this from where people would actually take it to their offices in, you know, folio to even today. True. Uh, you know, we used to get lots of young people coming to office with photographs. Uh, some touched, some not touched, yeah. and um, uh, some we couldn't understand why, you know. And we had drawers full of them. And uh, I remember all our trainees were given this job of sorting out all the rejects for our original casting. Because we were among the few people who actually broke that barrier that all models in advertising have to be good looking. And, and, yeah. and that's a great point, sir. And, yeah, and because today what has happened is that advertising is looking for real people, not just good-looking people. Yes. Because what happens when you have only good-looking people, it takes you three days to shoot a commercial so, with about 500 takes. So I'll ask you to hold that thought because I'm going to pick on that in a second in terms yes. of real characters. And I want to come to uh, Salim, who, you know, one of, the, one of the reasons why we built this was to build... Uh, the industry's first end-to-end -end technology platform, right, that allowed you to manage your talent pipeline from profiling to online auditions to selection to final auditions to casting. And I know you've traveled the world in the music space, in particular looking at so many different types of talents. I wanted you to take that perspective and put it to what you saw. I think it's phenomenal. The most important thing I feel is in this is, uh, you know, there's so much talent which is outside Mumbai. A lot of people just come to Mumbai thinking, yeah, this is the place we're going to get a chance to sing. This is the place where we're going to get a chance to uh, score a, f you know, a film. Or so, but you don't need to come to Mumbai with this, with this kind of a portal. You can be in Ghaziabad, you can be in Bengal, you can be anywhere and you know, showcase what you have. For, as a matter of fact, um, you know, when, sometimes when I go outside India, I see so much, there's, there's so much of music out there, especially Indians, Pakistanis who I mean, they, they're great musicians, they're great singers, but there's absolutely no industry there for them. You know, they want to come to Bollywood, that's their dream. They want to do something in the right. Indian music industry, right. in Indian film industry, but how? Yeah. How would yeah. they connect with, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. and imagine these people, they have day jobs and stuff like that, but they're fantastic singers, they're great, they're, they're great artists, some, are, some of them are great musicians, they play, you know, instruments like sitar, and they, they don't speak a word of Hindi. <laughs> but when it comes to singing, they can sing beautifully, whether it's a tumri, whether it's a rag-based thing, whether it's anything. Right. 
yeah. and they want to i mean they, that's their dream they want to just kind of sing one film song or they want to be recognized they want to come to mumbai to you know to maybe just sing a little bit in the in the advertising industry yeah. or something like that yeah. so it's for, uh, for them a portal like this is really phenomenal they don't really need to come to mumbai yeah. all they need to do is just you know do this uh, uh, video or audio clip or yeah. whatever and and that's it if they have something i mean there's so much going on on facebook but then facebook also has a lot of other garbage which you don't want to you know read right. and go through right. so if this is talent centric and if they there's a portal which is dedicated yeah. like tn it's it really solves a lot of problems and a lot of uh, uh, it really gets them yeah. you know what they what they need what so they desire so you hit on uh, two of the buzzwords or or key things that we believe in which i'm going to kind of turn to mr nair to talk about a little bit is the purpose of the platform uh, from a from a talent discovery perspective is to make it more efficient and effective right and sir you go through hundreds of shows a week in terms of pilots and demonstrations and i want you to talk a little bit about how we can use a platform like this to drive that actually before that shikhar yeah. i mean you know I, the av was really nice and it's a brilliant idea i am surprised no one has done it yet to this scale Thank i mean you. you know we've we've had ideas like this before in the past but it's never really come together i think modern technology allows that to happen and it's really nice and detailed so i must applaud you on that thank you um obviously this is a great opportunity because you know it destroys all these geographical boundaries and barriers and allows anyone to sort of come up on it and for companies like ours um it really you know throws it open of all kinds of talent uh, there are hundreds of shows hundreds of you know movies different kinds of content now even online being created and it allows all sorts of people to reach us it allows us to reach them and it allows us to sort of you know see auditions see stuff online real time um so it's, yeah i mean it's a brilliant idea i am just curious to know how much you plan to charge for it uh, <laughs> we won't talk about that today uh but let me let me now you know turn over to uh samir and culture machine I, I, you guys are the epitome of kind of the digital age coming up in india where you're focused so much on the manilials as well as raw talent right what is a platform like this do for you I think the challenge for us is that uh, there's a lot of noise because all our brands are predominantly on digital so for us so we look at YouTube Facebook so Twitter Tata Sky and Dish TV and we want to build media brands on top of them and because of the fact that it's as simple to get in touch with our brands by just clicking on message we get a whole bunch of people sending in auditions and show reels there's a lot of noise and if they everybody wants to be cast in the next every bombay girl in the world or every delhi girl in the world and uh, what we tend to do now is that we just actually have to go through all of that and that takes a lot of effort because that's a lot of people from across india sending a variety of content towards us and this actually i think is a good way to you know filter out uh, the signal from the noise yeah no that's that's definitely sure i'm going to ask a couple of pointed question here um so asha sir aapne uh, you 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 made such great large films where principal characters and cult characters have come alive like kachra and goli um how how would you think about using this platform to find those kind of characters or uh, even by sheer casting by sheer casting yeah no earlier what i did earlier as in right up to my re, uh, recent film is um, i would go on the various uh, channels on television and look at the regional programming that is existing and from the regional programming you are able to see uh, so many actors who for some reason or the other have not been able to make it to mumbai I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, probably financially they've not been, been able to come or some others feel that you know there's no point in going to mumbai and i've most of the times gone in there and got my talent from there but that's a very time consuming process it's been uh, i mean they've all been always uh, very pleasantly surprised to know that you know they've been contacted in this <coughs> manner so, a platform like yours what it helps us do is it's a click away now i'm now hoping it will be a click away because the way you've uh, uh, created it i was uh, quite surprised the the detailing that you have done and i look forward to now even for casting directors the access for them becomes much much easier because otherwise mumbai becomes the hub you always are making available actors that are here in the vicinity the moment you think of an actor who's from uh, maliahabad you're like you know who is going to now try and reach out to that person get him here and audition what if you don't like the person all those kind of questions arise so i think this this is this is going to be great what ashutosh is talking about is actually very true because we cast smita patel from a marathi news channel 
That was the first time Sham actually saw her. We all saw her and said, wow, she's, there's, there's a charisma about her. There's, a, there's an aura. And though she's just a news reader, it, she projected herself brilliantly. And that, the rest was history. Because the first film that she ever did was Charanda Ashur, and uh, which, was a which was a little village film, which was on a play, you know, in Chhattisgarh, for that matter. And after that, of course, she became whatever she became. Yeah. But she was cast from a Marathi news channel, which, used, which some of our light boys and peons used to watch on a regular basis. And they were the ones who told her, look at this girl, she's absolutely smashing. And that's how she was cast. I mean, uh, basically, what Ashutosh is talking about is true. But what your thing is going to do is uh, going to open up a whole lot of possibilities. Now, you look at the verticals that exist today in terms of possibilities. The film industry, at its best, is still a moms and pop shop. OK? So its casting is done through people who are useless relatives. OK? And so somebody's bhai batija, useless chap, some drug addict, some guy who's come back from rehab, achha usko dal do. Because they believe, they actually believe that you do not really need real talent for male actors to succeed. Okay, the women are all from outside. And the reason why the women are from outside is because nobody wants, still there's a stigma about putting your daughter into the movie industry. So they don't mind somebody else's daughter being in the movie industry. But you don't want to put your own daughter into the movie industry. Now, this is the hard truth. I mean, what I'm saying is existing for the last 50 years or 100 years, and there's residues of it coming through even now. There are lots of young producers and directors who are willing to experiment. But the hardcore industry actually doesn't want to, you know, to cast new people. They want somebody who's established, somebody who's already uh, there, somebody who's going to be the ticket to ride and who's going to give them an initial, which is what they call it, okay? But there's so many verticals now opening up. There's Netflix, there's entertainment on the phone, there's, um, uh, there's serials, there's a whole lot of people who are now not just going to watch movies. So your casting comment, I, I, I actually want to ask. Uh, this is going to open up the whole Pandora's box. I, well, I, I hope it's not Pandora's box. I hope it's a box of flowers <laughs> well, and roses. Well, part of it will be Pandora's yeah, box. Well, part no, of no, it no, will what not. The, you know? what the, yeah. But I'm going to ask Karan to comment a little bit because he is the most prominent discoverer of talent, I think, globally. And, uh, you know, Karan, if you could take a few minutes to kind of opine on two things, right? One is the discovery of talent that this portal can do. And two is, what is going to be the impact of content creation? when a portal like this gives you accessibility to talent globally? Um, firstly, I think uh, in the zone of casting vis -vis, uh, movies, I think a lot has changed and uh, in the last decade specifically. Uh, I think there was a zone in the 80s and 90s, which I think Prahlad was referring to about the useless relatives. Uh, but I think, uh, uh, fortunately, I never had any useless relatives, so I didn't have to bring them onto celluloid at all. Uh, but uh, um, I, I do understand what he probably means is nepotism, which I think is fairly active in the film fraternity, and that's something that we have to acknowledge and accept on all levels. Uh, but I think recently, and I think Ashutosh will share that with you, and especially directors like Ashutosh have done some, um, some fantastic, uh, you know, supporting casting, and that have actually gone on to create memorable characters. And in the last decade, I've noticed the, um, I, I would say, the initiation of the casting director who has acquired prominence. There is actually, it used to otherwise be something very ad hoc. Just like Ashutosh said, he used to go on and, you know, kind of look at regional television. All of us used to kind of do the same thing. Uh, you know, we used to go on television or we used to go and just see what, who are in other movies. It wasn't really a, a structured network created in the zone of casting, which has been a recent phenomenon. And I think now the casting director actually has acquired um, frontline credit and also does, and so many of them have been responsible, be it Mukesh Chhabra or be it Shanu Sharma, uh, be it, uh, I think recently the casting of Urta Punjab, which I say, Hani Trehan, I think who did a phenomenal job. Uh, these are actors that there is no way that you can actually know anything about unless it's a structured uh, process. Similarly, so with what you've introduced has, has taken that structure and given it more definite structure. 
So I think it's completely fantastic and one doesn't need to depend on nepotism to get talent on celluloid now. You could find it, you know, in theatres, you could find it in regional cinema, you could find it on digital formats, you could find it on television shows. Uh, and it will all be kind of streamlined with your concept and I think it's phenomenal. How does it change and create contact was your second question. Well, obviously I think that um, when you do find the kind of exceptional talent that is available to you through the digital format, uh, it of course makes you think and create characters and makes you kind of change things. And you don't follow the conventional path of um, creativity. I think it does give you an open windows and doors, as I said earlier. Um, and I'm, I'm vastly excited about the possibilities. A lot has changed and I think it's, it's time for us to acknowledge that as well in the movies. I think we're not making the kind of content that we used to. There is a, a paradigm shift in terms of what we want to project our cinema to be. There will always be the mainstream, there will always be the playing to the gallery. But there is also so much unusual filmmaking that is going on that is finding a large acceptance. Uh, then similarly, like what, uh, you know, I think, uh, uh, what you said about Samir, like, you know, there is so much digital television about it, there are web series, there are so many formats and portals that can actually take our entertainment and give it a totally different, uh, different color altogether. It's not just film. Film is not the be all and end all of anyone's existence. I keep saying that. That, you know, film is maybe aspirational, film is like the big screen medium, but let me tell you, there is a large diminishing effect of the power of film. It'll always remain as the mother of all entertainment. It'll all, celluloid will always have its charm. We can't call it celluloid anymore, actually, it's digital. So that, that <laughs> itself kind of kills a certain aspect. But I mean, everything is moving to different formats. If you go to America, I mean, what, what is, barring the big event film, the franchise film, or the adaptation of this tremendous book, uh, the, the, uh, the film, the regular film, has completely made its way to television. Right. Everything, everyone is watching. So there's so many opportunities that give so many opportunities to music, to actors, to all kinds of talent, that, you know, they shouldn't just feel like that, that bomb Mumbai and the film industry is your, is your big dream. It used to be the big dream. It's now... Not a nightmare, but it's definitely between a dream and a nightmare. <laughs> no, so, so, so <laughs> no, we're, but we're definitely betting. No, Karan, is that uh, with the new formats and uh, the talent that you're actually going to have to play around with, you can actually layer your films. Yeah. So, you know, as a director, even if your content writer has made it unidimensional, when you actually deal with your talent on the floor and they give you five options, on the same character in terms of the running role, you start making your content far more complex because you don't make it for the lowest common denominator. You know, you make it much more sophisticated, you make it much more complex, and that is what actually good casting is all about. It gives the director such a lot of options to actually take the basic content and layer it. Yeah. And layering is actually going to be what is going to be the future. Yeah. So I want to just pose one uh, kind of question to Samir, sir. Jitna reality shows are in India, how does this impact the auditions for that? Because once I had the fortune of actually going to one of these auditions that a cousin was doing in Jaipur, the line is so long. How does this help you guys? But actually, you see, that one is about the reality show auditions yeah. is that there's a thrill in doing that yeah. as it to going to the right. cities and having the big lines because sure. that makes a good television. Right. And it, you know, it looks nice, it shows yeah. the whole city is activated. <clears throat> but what it does, most importantly, is that, of course, something like this um, allows a lot more people to participate, uh, it a lot more people to you know, sort of send in their entries, um, whether they are freaks or whether they are genuinely talented. But either way, <laughs> it's a you know, real opening it up. Right. And uh, the more important thing, just to echo what Karan is saying, is that in the next, now in the, now in the few years, yeah. this whole content business is going to explode. Yeah. And it's like a monster that needs to be fed. Yeah. It needs talent. It needs lots of new talent. And while movies is, you know, like the gold standard, but everything else in the business, whether TV or online or events or, you know, just performances, oh, anything. advertising. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, 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 I mean, I think to echo a little bit what Kern was saying earlier, you know, uh, films is the granddaddy of them all, as they call the Rose Bowl in the U.S., but, um, and, and it is, it is, you know, there's a massive style factor to it, but for a platform like this, we definitely believe that digital content, ad films, um, and, and then television is going to be the biggest platform that it can be in terms of people that come on and post their profiles. So, uh, with that being said, I th I'm going to open it up to the audience a little bit for a few questions and then to the media. So... Uh, where's our first question here? 
You know, uh, I want to add one yes, thing. Yes, sir. Is that in your, um, uh, what you call format, there's one small missing point. See, the biggest hurdle that we have today, as far as entertainment is concerned, is content writers. Okay, there is, I find no space or a area to perform for content writers. Yeah. Because first we underpay them, we don't treat them with the due respect that they get everywhere else in the world. And so not too many young content writers want to be content writers. They actually prefer to be directors. Yes. So when you find a content writer who's even halfway, what you call talented, he says, I don't want to write for somebody else. I want to write for myself. Right. I want to be a director. So directors are given a haloed position. Content writers actually have no place even on your format. So, so, to so actually display a, themselves. Yeah, so the, just, a, just a slight correction on that, sir. The last piece that was in the demo was upload your own script or upload your own content. So we made a very conscious effort actually to focus on that, right? Which is the world is just not about actors and, and actresses and dancers and DOPs. It's, they're only really as good as the content that you give them to perform on, on right? No, but see, you have to understand one thing. The uh, film industry as such is relatively illiterate. Nobody reads. Nobody reads. So you have to actually narrate a script. So when you say upload your script, it's going to go into the bin. When you turn around and say narrate your script, that's a different format altogether. I think, Pranad, lots has changed. I think you're still, like yeah, Karan says, you're talking about the 80s and the 90s. No, Things but have nobody changed reads, yeah. even now. I, I don't know, at least for the films I do Everybody as a composer. Everybody give me a narration. You know? It's not true. I, I think it's, uh, there's a very small percentage now that doesn't read. I mean. At least from my knowledge, from my experience, as of now, a lot of people read. Even film composers who normally, like, situation kya hai bata do aur hum log gana karenge. Even they have, they've been given scripts and one reads this, I mean, at least I do. No, no, among the film fraternity, I mean, uh, the music fraternity, they've definitely learned how to write music Sunday. And you know, they're not sort of taking it off the top of the head or lifting it from the bells. Which, which used to be the practice. Right. So I find that there, there's a difference there. There are people who read, mm. but I, I don't think even now in the mainstream film industry, writing is the best way to get through to yeah. anybody. They all want a narration. Yeah. So, so I think we're going to do our best we can to actually make that come alive on the platform. And I think that's great feedback, sir. You should have a, a little section where you can just upload a narration. I think I'm just going to have an artificial. Yeah, I'm going to have an artificial. You know, I'm going to have an like artificial intelligence thing that can actually read the script that you put up there. That's pretty good. Verbally. And also, just a suggestion. I mean, yeah, just please. on a, a soft note, that you know, if uh, if there is some way you can send a friend request internally oh, within TN, that's so I can be friends with a singer, <clears throat> I can be friends with a composer within TN. Yes, sure. You know, it's so, a cool way to just yeah, interact. Yeah, no, Salim, sort that's of, you're, that builds the fraternity. You've yeah. actually. It, you, you, this, You've this actually talked of, about the next evolution of our product, yeah, this which kind is to of build builds, a network. This sort of builds, yeah. uh, you know, so when, when people see pictures and they can, even though I'm a composer, I'd like to see a picture of a singer. Right. I mean, apart from just right. working sure. or a picture of the sure. actor and sort of, you know, be friends Bounce with. Bounce off ideas. Yeah, yeah, so it's nice. It, you just create a community yeah. within TN. No, nice. and, 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 and that's the holy grail for us, Salim, is, is the idea, the, the ethos of this is not just around discovery of talent and content creation and eventual casting, but it's really creating a network of like-minded people, as we say often, uh, to be able to interface within themselves. And the next evolutions that you'll see of our platform in the next you know, six to nine to 12 months is actually gonna give you exactly that. And I think, particularly for your industry, that interaction continuously of the global genre of music that's out there is very critical, is very critical. So questions, where are the mics here? Uh, sure, go for it. Do you think, Do you good, think looks good looks overpower talent? talent? Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's. Uh, I don't know what your concept of good looking is. It could be different from mine. But uh, I, I think if I use the word conventional, I think the biggest superstars of this country probably don't conform to traditional and conventional good looks. So obviously to answer that question, I don't think it has anything to do with the way you look because you know, beauty just stops at a point and talent has to take over. Right. Because there's no, you can't, beauty as you know, um, and no matter how poetic we get about beauty, after a point it does fade. And talent has to take over because <laughs> eventually, I mean, if you're not talented, I don't think you can stand a chance on any entertainment format. 
I think we had a question up there. Hello. Yep. Hi. Good afternoon. Um, Mr. Ashutosh, my question is directed to you. Um, you started your career with acting and then ventured into multiple things. So how important do you think it is today for a talent to um, pitch a multiple skill set? Uh, <clears throat> no, I don't think a talent should uh, project too many things at a time. He needs to have one core uh, talent that he should project. And then go uh, to other things. The others can follow. Because if you don't have that focus, it also uh, kind of uh, deviates from what the employer is looking at. <coughs> you know, you don't want to be told that I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. And you're like, one sec, I just want, can you do this? I just want a singer or an actor. So I think, I think you should focus on one uh, strain first, one stream, and then open your wings. OK, we have one over here on the right side. Is this working? Yep. Uh, OK, first of all, I just want to take this opportunity to congratulate this fabulous portal that we have. Uh, I am one of the casting directors who signed up you know, like with closed eyes when I was asked to come on board. Because uh, considering that you know we have so many multis and you know we find talent today where we least expect it, I know this is one such place where we we hope that we find people you know who we don't generally reach to. Uh, in terms of question, my question is to uh, KJ and to Ashu sir and uh, people who have production houses and who have impaneled casting directors with them already. Uh, my question is that we as freelance casting directors, if today spot a talent through this portal or something, how can we blur the lines in terms of reaching to your casting directors or you know, uh, sending them to directly to a dharma or an AGBPL? I mean, my, my worry could be a very micro worry at a very small level, you know, but uh, for a talent, for an actor who's genuinely a very good talent, um, it might be at a very macro level, you know. So I just wanted to ask, like, as a casting director sitting in Andheri in one of those, you know, Mada or, or an Aramnagar office, how is it possible for me through this portal to take those talents to your casting directors or to your production houses directly? Will those lines blur, or is it again going to be a channel in the process? Um, I can speak for myself when I say that we don't have a, a one casting director. Like I think Shanu casts only for YRF. I don't think that we have one, we work with multiple casting directors. So in that respect, I mean, if, if at all one does engage with this, uh, with this digital concept of casting, it, I mean, all doors at Dharma open. You just have to get in touch with the EPs of the film. And uh, it's a very simple process, and we encourage that. At Dharma, I think we kind of keep an open democratic forum in any kind of vertical of the film. And we're not bound to one casting director for any film. We worked with about six of them in the last two years. So, you know, it's an, it's an open forum for us. Yeah, I think ditto that. Uh, even we have worked with now two casting directors. Actually, that's a question more for the casting director fraternity. Because there is a lot of insecurity that creeps in that when I want, suppose, a particular kind of actor and the casting director is not able to give it to me, he or she feels uh, not very happy about the fact that not being able to deliver. But actually, that's not the case. So, so it's between the networking of casting directors that you might have a certain uh, actors in your bouquet and you need to have an exchange. So we, even like what you said, we, it doesn't matter to us whether it's coming from you or some, from somebody else. What is important is we need someone to fit our requirement. So sorry. that can be in every... Uh, yes. Also, I just want to add here, hmm? sorry, yeah. that what I like most about this portal is also that, you know, when I was doing Jodha Akbar, uh, we needed these oboe players and particular instruments. And at that time, we had to go searching all over and we found two in Canada, two in somewhere in Europe and uh, had to source them and get them. It took some time for us to do. Yeah. But for a portal like this, I think it'll be easier for me to reach out to a very obscure artist who specializes in some kind of uh, uh, expertise and get him for my movie. Or for, for, for it can be anybody else's requirement. It can be a musician's requirement. You know? So I think, I think that's a one no, that's a, that's a great example. One of the, example, one of the questions that example. he uh, uh, wants to know and um, didn't ask was that how does he monetize his flock? 
with a casting director. Yes. Because a casting director is paid by the uh, production house. Uh, a freelance casting director actually takes the money from the model who he uh, recommends to whoever he recommends it to. Yes. Yes. So if he recommends a particular model, then he, uh, to a casting director, he loses them. Right. And how does he then monetize his efforts? I think he has the answer to that through my team already. So, yeah. uh, but I think, hold on one second. I think Samir actually has a unique perspective on this, given how much uh, castings they have to do with raw talent. Yeah, I mean, uh, the way to look at it is that movies have limited bandwidth. Uh, the fact that the directors like Karan and Ashutosh will only do these many movies in a year. And then the second amount where you actually get tonnage and throughput is television. And the third, which is really a separate industry altogether, is the world which we are part of, is which is digital. I mean, in uh, UTV, we created a show called Chikipedia, which was meant only for the web. And in that, we casted Tahir Raj Basin. In fact, because of that series, then he got noticed by Yash Raj and was then in Mardani. Uh, so Tahir, to a large extent, was uh, you know discovered because of a digital web series. Uh, the, the girl who was cast opposite him, Nafisa, actually has a good career on television now. So I think what's happened now, in, in fact, at Culture Machine, a lot of our product, uh, whether it's on being Indian or blush, uh, while we have you know, mainstream Bollywood talent, which comes for the big video, a uh, lot of the talent actually keeps getting called regularly for films. So I think uh, one step to think about is like a funnel. On the top end, you have digital, where you have a lot of tonnage of content. And because of that, talent gets discovered. And quite frankly, it gets watched by millions of people. Uh, so you get your face in front of like 150 million people who access Pro portals like YouTube and Facebook and actually get to prove your talent in whatever genre which uh, you are there, whether it's singing or acting or directing or even people on art and art design actually get regularly called by movie production houses. The thing is, they don't have the bandwidth because they have to sh choose proven talent because they're putting that kind of money on a product which is going to cost crores. So they want proven talent. Now, where do they go? They go to TV and now increasingly they go to digital. So probably if you're a casting director, Get in touch with us at Culture Machine. We create <laughs> content regularly, and uh, it's a great way to actually focus on new talent because quite we can't afford Bollywood talent. So right. necessity is the mother of invention, and that's the reason why we have to break new talent. Well, the necessity is the reason why we create a talent next. So that's a great explanation, Samir. Um, I think we have one more question waiting. Right, right here. Yep. Hi. Okay. So this question is directed towards Sally. Uh, I was just wondering. So, what is the most essential thing you look at while forming a crew? What do you mean by forming a crew? For, uh, like, let's say if you want to pick mm -hmm. um, your actors and your, let's say, even background actors, or is that a platform for Intel Next? Like, I'm just wondering. I'm a musician, so uh, okay. if, talking about, um, you know, if I have to choose like a uh, like a, a musician, let's say a keyboardist or a or a shinai player or an oboe player or you know whatever, it's it's something which I which touches me. I mean, I I don't really look at uh, you know, uh, what the person can do, what the person, how many different instruments that guy can play or whatever. My, for me, it's just if if I relate to his playing or her playing or, uh, uh, you know, the music he or she does or the singing she does or he does, it's then that that really is my calling that I, I, I feel like I should, you know, connect with the person. But, uh, uh, you know, Ashu said a very interesting thing about... Uh, he was looking for these oboe players in, during Jodha Akbar. And many a times when we, when we do a song, uh, you know, we look for a new voice. And even though there are so many new voices, it's always like, ha, lekin, that, that thumri voice, that little, you know, that age and that voice. And sometimes it's very difficult to find in Mumbai city. And you definitely get something like that more in, you know, the uh, regions of Punjab and Uttar Pradesh and Jammu and stuff like that. And, those a uh, lot of artists they don't really want to come down to Mumbai. They're very comfortable in their own spaces. They're very happy. Some of them are radio artists. They perform on radio and they're phenomenal. And believe me, nobody knows about them in Mumbai. There's so many, uh, and it's it's really something which you have to really research if you need a fantastic voice. Uh, for instance, like a you know like a female voice, which is like in her, in her 50s or 60s or whatever. You need that kind of voice for for a film song. It's very hard to find. You know, you only have your Kavita Shet or your uh, Malini Avasti or, you know, whatever, a couple of other artists. But if, you, if you're really looking for a new voice, it's, it's very, very difficult. I believe with, with TN, it will make a difference. You know, if it reaches out to those people, if it reaches out to those artists and those singers and those musicians, um, you know, we, 
we in Mumbai and the entire world will have a great time listening to these and discovering these voices. That's well said, Salim. Hi. Thank you. Uh, hi, this is uh, Ravi. Hi, this is Ravi. And my question to Salim, sir. Hi, this side. Sir, talent ki baat ho rahi hai, to agar legendary ki baat na ho, to thoda sa adhura lagega. Log is samay cha rahe ki ek musician par ek biopic bane. So what's your take on this ki R.D. Burman par ek biopic banna chahi? Aap kya kahenge is par? R.D. Burman ji pe ek film ban chuki already, which is called Pancham. Pancham da, I think it's called. Unfortunately, the film actually came to Sony and it's very sad that it didn't really get the kind of viewership it required. But I think it would have been great if it really got to, you know, digital content and because that way, so Panchamda has been made a film film, just to answer your question. It came out about three years ago. It released on Sony Mix or so, I don't know which channel. Do you think that the mass audience should reach their biopic to the mass? I think उनका music आज भी जिंदा है, उनका music आज भी हम सुनते हैं, तो you know बेशक पहुंचनी चाहिए, but मेरे हिसाब से you know television अपनी जगह पे बहुत ही कमाल कर रहा है, लेकिन अगर ये same चीज अगर digital पे आ जाती है, तो you know कई बार ऐसा होता है कि जो चीज television पे आती है, वो पूरी दुनिया नहीं देख सकती, because of the programming, the way it is, India of course watches it. जितना इंडिया देखता है उतना देखता है जितना बीम होता है बाहर बट जैसे पंचमदा जैसे जैसे शख्स जैसे वो बायोपिक जैसे बनी थी अगर उसी तरह डिजिटल पे अगर वो बने तो यू नो कनाडा अमेरिका यूके इस तरह के कंट्रीज में बहुत सारे लोग हैं जो ये डिजिटल कंटेंट कंज्यूम कर पाएंगे तो आई � आप बस आवाज़ सुन लीजिए आपके सामने हूँ हाँ लोग का सवाल ये है एस ए प्रोड्यूसर और एस ए डायरेक्टर जब आप फिल्में करते हैं तो कास्टिंग पे कितना ध्यान आपका जा पाता है और किस तरीके की किस तरीके का डिफरेंस होता है एक प्रोड्यूसर और एक डायरेक्टर के होने के नाते देखिए प्रोड्यूसर होने के नाते तो आप कास्टिंग में मैं कभी घुसता ही नहीं क्योंकि वो डायरेक्टर का माध्यम है जब मैं डायरेक्टर होता हूँ तो ऑफकोर्स कास्टिंग इज़ ए वेरी इंटेग्रल पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोसेस तो आजकल जैसे बहुत अहमियत है कास्टिंग पे और ज़रूरी होता है क्योंकि हमारे जो किरदार होते हैं जो एक्टर्स होते हैं वो अभी वो ट्रेडिशनल फॉर्मेट के कैरेक्टर्स नहीं रहे अभी नो देर आर लेयर्स एंड देर आर ग्रे एरियाज एंड एक ऊंधा एक्टिंग की बहुत ज़रूर 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 होती है एंड आई थिंक जस्ट फॉर दैट आई थिंक वी हैव टू बी एक्स्ट्रा पर्टिकुलर तो कास्टिंग इज़ अ बिग ड्रॉन आउट प्रोसेस अभी बहुत बड़ा प्रोसेस बन चुका है वो हमारे लिए इट्स नॉट सिंपल कि हम किसी ने उस फिल्म में काम किया है तो उसे कास्ट कर लो अभी नए चेहरे की बहुत ज़रूरी ज़रूरत होती है और ये नए चेहरे जो होते हैं नए टैलेंट जो होता है जो हुनर जो होता है वो बहुत ज़रूरी होता है टू गो टू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्लेटफॉर्म्स एंड पीपल टू फाइंड दैट आजकल ये होता है फ्रेश जो वर्ड बन चुका है ना वो बहुत बड़ा वर्ड बन चुका है कि सब चाहते हैं कि कोई फ्रेश आ जाए कुछ अलग हो कुछ नया हो वही किरदार अगर हम बार बार उसी एक्टर के पास जाएं यू नो जिसने फादर का रोल किया होगा तो यू नो तो आई फाइंड दिस कॉन्वर्सेशंस हैपनिंग अराउंड मी ऑल द टाइम कि लेट्स फाइंड अ न्यू फादर I mean, वो new father का क्या मतलब होता है पता नहीं। Now she's played a mother in two movies. We must find a new mother. तो नया बाप, नया बहन, नई माँ, नए भाई, बहन, characters, interesting areas. It's all become about kind of finding new talent and platforming it on cinema. क्योंकि जो भी नया होता है और जो अलग होता है, उसे ज़्यादा I think acceptance मिलती है and you get much more praise for actually trying something different. पहली फिल्म की अगर casting का अगर कोई trivia आप देना चाहें जिसमें आपको मसक्कत काफी हुई हो पहली फिल्म मेरी पहली फिल्म जी 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 मैं तो हर जगह गया था मैं मैं बिकारी बन चुका था उस फिल्म में नौ हेरोइंस ने मुझे ना किया था टू कास्ट रानी मुकर्जीज़ रोल मैंने सोचा कि मुझे कोई ना मिले तो मुझे शॉर्ट स्कर्ट पहन के वो रोल करना पड़ेगा इवेंटली एट हेरोइंस सेड नो टू मी एंड देन आई मेंट टू रानी � um, it was suggested to me by both Shah Rukh and Aditya Chopra. And uh, they said that a picture came from his Raja. So he gave an expression that the trailer was running in that time. He gave a fantastic mainstream expression to Rani. He both recommended me to one day that I would like to go to Rani. Because no, I would not call my name. Eight heroines that said no to me. And I didn't come back to anyone. I had narrated the way that Prahlad said. At that time, I had given the script. I had given the narration. I had given the very dramatic narration. फिर भी उन्होंने फिर उसके बाद सलमान के रोल के लिए मैंने पता नहीं कहाँ कहाँ गया था तो फाइनली इट वाज अ बिग बिग तो ट्रिविया क्या बताऊँ यही इट्स आई हैड टू रियली बेग फॉर बोथ सलमान एंड रानी टू बी ऑन बोर्ड वो दौर अलग था वो वो दिन अलग थे 
क्योंकि मुझे इतना ही था कि पहली सीन में रानी मुखर्जी को मरना था वो इट वॉज शी वज डाइंग तो मुझे मेरे पापा ने कहा था कि अरे कोई नई लड़की रोगी वो मर जाएगा कोई केयर भी नहीं करेगा क्यों नो क्यों वो मर गई पहले सीन में यू नीड सम काइंड ऑफ अ स्टार टू किल हर इन द फर्स्ट सीन तो इसलिए मैं चाहता था कोई जाना माना सा चेहरा हो तो इट्स बिन आई मीन आई एम श्योर आशुतोष विल टेल यू मोस्ट स्टोरीज अबाउट द कास्टिंग ऑफ लगान क्योंकि वहाँ इतनी पूरी जो क्रिकेट टीम कास्ट करनी थी आई थिंक दैट टू मी is the epitome and i would say it uh, to ashu himself i think it opened the doors lagan opened the doors of unusual casting in mainstream cinema because there was not a single film till 2001 where you saw so many interesting new faces that all left a mark individually it's never happened and it actually opened the doors of casting uske pehle बहुत सारे जो डिफरेंट रूट्स होते थे वो इंडस्ट्री कास्टिंग होती थी यू नो जो उस फिल्म में उस किसी ने किरदार निभाया किसी और फिल्म में किया है तो वहाँ से ले लो यहाँ से ले लो बट आई हैड नेवर सीन दोज फेसेस दे वर रियल पीपल एंड आई थिंक इट वाज अ लार्ज पार्ट ऑफ द सक्सेस ऑफ लगान वाज द कास्टिंग ऑफ द क्रिकेट टीम उस पर आप कितना ध्यान देते हो तो उसमें आपका इन्वॉल्वमेंट कितना होता है एंड हाउ डू यू फील दिस पोर्टल इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू एंड डू यू फील यू गो to people those who are known to you first and then you come to these kind of thing as a secondary thing no for me it starts at the scripting phase uh, jab character create kiya ja raha hai usi waqt mere dimag mein wo kis kism ka hoga kaise dikhega uh, that immediately starts taking shape so so i start already looking for people so for example when i was writing guran i used to always think that guran should be somebody like rajesh vivek बिकॉज जब तक स्क्रिप्ट आपकी पूरी नहीं होती यू कैन टेक कॉन्शियस डिसीजन बट यू ऑलवेज हैव समबडी इन माइंड एंड देन एक्चुअली वेन फॉर राजेश विवेक बट वट हैपन्स मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली फॉर माई मूवीज इज आई नीड वन फलक्रम इफ दैट वन फलक्रम इज राइट देन एवरीथिंग एल्स इज ईजी टू डू सो वेन यू हैव एन आमिर और यू हैव अ शाहरुख और यू हैव अ रितिक हु आर रियली गोइंग टू प्ले अ कैरेक्टर गोइंग टू चेंज दम सेल्स बाय देर प्रेजेंस they infuse the entire film with a different kind of believability so it gives me freedom to cast a new girl it gives me freedom to cast new faces and what happens is the new faces even somehow make him or her also believable so it's it's a process that takes some time but i enjoy finding actors so i enjoy uh, when i was saying i watch regional uh, television i meant actually dd oria dd shrinagar dd bangla you know going to all these channels and source the actors and that can only be done when you have uh, a kind of scripting level uh, um, thoughts clear thoughts my good my, afternoon i was to ask you actually ki aapki ek ek limit hoti hai ki now ye jitne itne characters hote hain wahan tak i'll be you know like focusing on that thing and you have lots of other characters also small small characters so no no every aapka, huh. no you're right but every actor right to the last even if he is a non speaking part jise hum kehte hain hmm. non speaking part only presence even that i i ensure that it's auditioned and it's casted correctly uh, and now when i say audition audition in wardrobe and everything so so it has to be done fully otherwise you cannot leave anything unturned ashu sir uh, rachna from t2 online सर गुड आफ्टरनून सर सवाल ये है कि जब आप अपनी पूरी फिल्म अच्छी तरह से कास्ट कर लेते हैं स्क्रिप्ट एकदम सही लग जाती है जगह पे और जब उसका ट्रेलर बाहर आता है तो कई तरह के रिएक्शंस आते हैं मिक्स से आते हैं कई बार अच्छे होते हैं कई बार क्रिटिस क्रिटिसिज्म से भरे हुए होते हैं आप उसको किस तरह से लेते हैं सर हाउ डू यू टेक क्रिटिसिजम इन योर स्ट्राइड वन यू मेक सम बिग फिल्म लाइक यू डू आई थिंक यू है क्योंकि एक बात तो तय है कि जैसे मैं आपको एक बहुत पुराना एग्जांपल दूं कि जब अमित अमित जी का बहुत अच्छा दौर था अब भी है लेकिन जब इन इज यंग डेज वन आई वाज वाचिंग हिज मूवीज लाइक दीवार आई वाज वाचिंग त्रिशूल एंड ऑल दीज काइंड ऑफ फिल्म्स सडनली अ फिल्म केम इन अ पोस्टर केम इन व्हिच वाज कॉल्ड आलाप एंड यू हैड अमित जीज फेस ऑन इट इन प्रोफाइल अ वेरी पोएटिक एंड यू नो आई डोंट गो फॉर दैट मूवी I didn't go for it simply because I was enjoying a dawn and a trishul, and I thought you could a lot of picture, even though it was Amit Ji. 
So what happens is uh, we have our own immediate responses to trailers. And in a trailer, you're trying to depict your movie to the best of your ability. So there are certain elements that shock you. But you have to still be patient and form your opinion after you see the film. Because that's where actually everything comes out larger. And I must tell you, Alap was a superb film. And Amit was damn good in it. <laughs> okay, Hi, uh, Hello. Karan and uh, Ashutosh. Hi. Here. Don't you think in this present scenario, we have very you all have very limited choice when it comes to lead heroine, heroine in your typical mainstream uh, Bollywood yes. film? Yes, yes, yes. yes Big yes. problem. <laughs> Big problem. 100 movies to make and six of them only that can sell your movie. <laughs> because suddenly you take anybody else and say you won't get the budget otherwise. Because then music won't be made, overseas won't be made, satellite won't be made, digital won't be made, nothing won't be made. Otherwise, you make a film that is smaller, then you can still take chances. The moment, like, you know, and Ashutosh and I think are uh, filmmakers that, you know, somehow when we think small, we get scared and worried. I think we think best when we think large. <laughs> I, at least for me, I think, you know, I'm, uh, um, I mean, when I was making Student of the Year, I used to feel really sad on the set. There was no star on that set ever. <laughs> so I used to feel, oh God, is no star. Nahi hai. So it used to bother me a little bit. But that was the ethos of that film. So I think, yes, it's very, very limiting. We have very few movie stars. And I hope the country starts loving more and more stars very soon and gives them long legs and longevity as movie stars so that we can actually have the choice. Because otherwise, you know, it's, it's really a problem. If we're going through a crisis, there really is just those many actors who are in, in trade parlance, viable, saleable, etc. And you know, there are only few, there are many filmmakers and many stories to be told. But unfortunately, they don't go through the grind because they go through the grind. The, the last line that you said is the most important. The country needs to love more and more uh, heroes and heroines. Yeah. Because we, we have to make movies and you know, a filmmaker, like he has now launched Three Faces, or I'm bringing out a new face. It's once in you know, probably one year or two years. And then there's nothing. So there are others who are also launching. It's important that people yeah. start falling in love with Yeah, more I think the places. longevity of a movie star, I, of, of creating the, like, you know, the, that huge impact with the star, I think maybe because it's all kind of, you know, there's so much available that I think that, you know, the way that we used to love our movie stars, you know, up to the 80s, I think, you know, that, that madness and insanity is definitely depleting with time. And, well, I think we have to start loving them for just to make more films, I think, you know, otherwise we're... <laughs> and anyway, to yeah, say so that, to relate is, that yeah. to what Shekhar, yeah. Shekhar's yeah. endeavor is, actually, that's kind of exciting because, you know, that yeah. opens, while there is... Uh, there is just uh, the dearth of those many viable actors. It also opens doors for yeah. so much new talent to walk through and kind of find a place. Yeah. But like Ashutosh and I just said, the love has to, is an audience prerogative. Yeah. That's and something we can't do anything about. And I think what Samir said earlier is a very apt example of the funnel, right? It is is the funnel serves as a potential discovery engine. And we want to be the input into that funnel. And once we become the input into that funnel, then it's really up to the filmmakers and the content creators and the script writers to be able to showcase a piece of talent for them to come alive. Um, but it starts with the funnel. So, Karan, Karan here, right here at the back. Here. Yeah. My question is for you, uh, Karan, as we all know, you launched like three new stars in your last movie, Student of the Year. So would we see you launching new stars in your upcoming movies through Talent Next also? Well, I hope so. I definitely think that's my brief. Uh, that we definitely have to launch faces and I actually now have started and I completely endorse what Ashutosh said that you know you take the pillar face and you can definitely then create talent around it. But you do need that. We make films with big budgets, we have to sell them. You know, we're we are producers at the end of the day. I'm not a corporate studio. I'm not funded internationally. Or I'm a, not a public listed company. I don't have that pool of wealth lying to take that chance with. I yeah. need to kind of have a, have a selling face and then work around it. When I made Student of the Year, it was a chance I took. You know, it was a leap that I had to take. And it, fortunately, things worked out. But it doesn't always work like that. So my dictate to the production house, to the directors, to who are making movies, let's launch new faces. Let's bring in new energies. And then, of course, leverage that, which is what I've done with uh, Varun Sid and Alia. You know, we've put them in so about, like, as a result of launching them four years ago, 
cumulatively they've done about seven to eight films with, with me already, you know. So it's actually added to the repertoire of work in the company. Yeah. It's completely beneficial and I would encourage it at all levels. And that trickle thank down you, effect thank is Thank you so much, Kalan. That was the last question from That's the it. audience in the press. Okay, thank great. you. Yes, thank you. Let's, so let's thank our esteemed panel here with a one round loud of applause. And thank you all for coming. जैसे मैंने कहा कि पंचम दा पे ऑलरेडी फिल्म बनी है लेकिन उनके उनके लाइफ पे उनके उनकी बायो पे क्या उनकी उनकी डॉक्यूमेंट्री जितनी बने उतनी कम है मेरी यही बस मैं तो ये मेरी यही दुआ है कि पंचम दा पे जितना कंटेंट बने वो उतना कम है तो बनते रहे और इस तरह से लोगों को उनके बारे में और ज़्यादा जानकारी और ज़्यादा प्यार मिलेगा और आई होप दैट इट हैपन्स मेरे मेरे जहन में मेरे दिल में मैं बस मेरी दुआएं निकलती हैं कि मैं यू नो इतने बड़े शख्सियत का म्यूज़िक मैंने एक्सपीरियंस किया है सुना है मेरी खुश किस्मत खुश किस्मत ही रही है कि मैंने आरदी बर्मन जी से रूबरू मैंने मुलाकात की है और बस मैं यही कहूँगा कि आज वो इस दुनिया में नहीं है लेकिन उनका म्यूज़िक जीता जागता है आज तक और आज तक हम उनका म्यूज़िक सेलिब्रेट करते हैं तो हालांकि वो आज इस दुनिया में नहीं है लेकिन हमारे हमारे दिल में हमारे जहन में हमारे रूह में उनकी म्यूज़िक समाई हुई है जी बहुत मुश्किल है बहुत मुश्किल है मैं तो कहूँगा कि कोई ऐसा ऐसा शख्स हो जो उनके जैसा दिखता है बिकॉज उनकी एक तो आ, उनकी पर्सनालिटी इतनी यूनिक थी कि ऐसे आदमी को कास्ट करना उनके रोल में मेरे ख्याल से नामुमकिन रहेगा बट मैं चाहूँगा कि कोई ऐसा आदमी हो कोई ऐसा शख्स हो जो उनके जैसा दिखे थैंक यू